Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. A few weeks ago on one of my live streams, I showed a paper sampler pack, this one, which I got from Desk Bandit when I did my last order. What I'm going to do today is actually take a little bit more detailed look at the seven papers that came as part of this pack. Just going to do a quick exploration of them. So join me now down on the mat. We'll take a look at the paper and we'll see how well do they perform with fountain pens. Here we are down on the table. So I've already taken the paper out of this pack. You may be able to tell. This is a pack I ordered from Desk Bandit. It cost me $9 and for that I got five sheets of seven different papers. So it's the Desk Bandit Paper Sampler Pack, fountain pen friendly. I'm not going to read the words. If you want to read them, you can pause the video there. I'll just leave a clear shot. But the papers that we've got here, we've got Tom I River 52 GSM, Tom I River 68 GSM. These are both the new ones. We've got View Corona 52 GSM, Japanese Milled Paper 64 GSM, Cosmo Air Light 75 GSM, Cosmo Air Snow 75 GSM, and White XL 81 GSM. I've already written with a number of pens on these. So the pens I've used, I've got here, this is for my heading, this is a Lamy AL Star with Robert Oster Cosmic Swirl. I've then written with a Marjon M400. This has got a medium nib and Dimine Aqua Lagoon. A Monteverde Ritma with a broad nib and a Rora and Klinger Alt Gold Run. A Ranga Santa with a 1.1 stub and Dimine Red Dragon. The Pilot E95S with a medium nib and Dimine Ancient Copper. And a Jinhao 100 Centennial with a broad Yoho nib and Cult Pen's Little Bob, which is a nice sheen in ink. Because I like writing in my videos, I mean, what's a fountain pen video without writing? Got the Pilot Custom 823, and in there, I've got Dimine Tobacco Sunburst, which is a nice shade in ink. So what we'll do is we'll take a quick look at each of the papers. So paper number one, this is the Tomai River 52 GSM. You can feel how thin it is. Let me fetch in this. If I put it over, you can actually see there. I don't know if it'll come through, but I can see paper sampler pack. I can even see the, the rest of the writing there. So fairly transparent. You can see through the page quite easily. Looking at our writing, you know, very nice, nice. We've got the title, 1.5 stub nib. There we've got the four pens, five pens, should I say. I can't even count today. One, two, three, four, five pens. So we've got the margin on M400, Monteverdi Ritma, got some nice shade in there. E95 again, looks like some nice shading. The Santa, beautiful line on this. And the Jinhao 100. Now this looks green when we see it here, but the ink, let me just do a little bit of a scribble just so you can see it. Actually goes down with a purple colour and then dries with this green sheen. You can see a little bit of that purple coming there on the barb, on the little, on there. But most of this has turned to that green colour. Let's do some live writing with it then. So we've got a pilot custom. Now this feels hard because I'm writing straight onto the wood. I don't like the feel of that. What I'm going to do to make it a bit nicer and softer, this is just a B5 notebook. I'm going to fetch that in. So now we can write into paper, which gives it a little bit more of a softness. So a pilot custom 823 with a broad nib. And the ink is Dimine Tobacco Sunburst. Just going to swap that round. I've got the spine in the wrong direction. Nice and wet on here. And let's do the sentence. Mm -hmm. 
it's nice nice feedback nice bounce to it not a lot of scratchiness coming through the nib not a lot of tactileness very nice to write with we can see here let's look at the scribble you can see as it's drying can you see there it's doing that nice green color now so that's the tomai river 52 gsm so to put that to one side i'm going to fetch in the tomai river 68 gsm paper so again written exactly the same so we've got the same titles we go down through the pens down to this sheening one again we can see more of the purple there on the c and a bit more on the b and the p but still a lot of that green let's write with our other pen so we've got a pilot and the ink and a sentence That one doesn't seem as wet as when I did the exact same pen on the 52 GSM paper. Let's fetch that 52 GSM paper back. What I'm going to do is compare all the rest of the pages against the 52 GSM one. So that's going to be my standard comparison. When we look at these, to be honest, I don't see much difference. The paper's roughly the same colour. I mean, they're both Tomai River. They're both a slightly off-white colour. The inks don't really see much of a difference in the way the inks look to me if you see a difference over the camera please let me know in the comments below maybe a little bit of a difference here in the sheening one i think there's more green showing up in the 68 but there's also more areas where i've still got just the red part of it so that's quite interesting and with the custom 823 apart from the fact this swipe is not as long as the swipe here we see on the 52 GSM paper, they look very, very similar. So that's the 68 GSM Tomai River paper. Next page, View Corona. So another off-white, you can really see that. If I move this down a little bit, you can see that against this white paper of this optic paper. So again, same pens, exactly the same. Again, we've got a load of that green coming through. You can see little bits of the purple still. Let's write with the pen though. So we've got the pilot, custom. Now this paper does feel different when I'm writing. It feels as if there's more resistance to it. I think that, I know it doesn't sound, it's a very hard thing to, but it's like dragging more on the, on the nib of the pen. So dye mine, tobacco sunburst. And the sentence. Yeah, it feels like there's more resistance. It also doesn't sound as loud. So when I was writing on the Tomai River paper, I could really hear the nib. I could hear it writing. But with this paper, it's a lot quieter. It's a lot more subdued. I'd say maybe because the pen's actually dragging more on the page. So more of the energy is going into actually pulling the pen rather than creating the sound. Put them side by side. You can see big difference in the color of the paper. So the Tomai River paper here, a lot paler so we've got a lot creamier paper i also think the line that i'm seeing on this view corona paper it does seem a little bit thinner now that could be wishful thinking but it's as if the ink just isn't being drawn out as much when it's drying again if we look down at the sheening one loads of green showing through so that's the view corona paper next up we've got the Japanese milled 64 GSM paper. We can see here, let me move this down. 
this more of a whiter paper so it's very similar in color maybe just slightly off-white again we've got the same pens there seeing some feathering down here on the Jinhao 100 and on the Daimine Red Dragon there with the Ranga Santa maybe even there a bit on that pilot as well so definitely oh yeah and there on the A so a lot of feathering coming through certainly with the broader and the wetter nibs let's see how we go with the pilot pen so we've got a pilot custom 823 nice to write on diamine tobacco sunburst doesn't have that same feel of dragging that I had with that view corona And the sentence. That's nice. I say it doesn't have that same dragginess. It's still not as audible as when I was using the uh, to my river paper strange and strange really isn't it these little things if we look at the Jinhao 100 this is the one with the sheen in ink we're not seeing nowhere near as much green coming through we've got a lot more of that purple color so for the sheen in ink pen it doesn't seem to be as good let's compare it though so this is the to my river the first one not too bad the Majon 400 look very very similar the Monteverdi Ritma, as you see here, certainly looks like we're starting to get some feathering coming in. Same with the E95S, it looks like the, the paper's drawing the ink in a little bit more. Still seeing some nice shading coming through though. Ranga Santa with that 1.1 stub nib. We're really starting to see, look on here on the word diamine and compare it to the word diamine here. Very different, loads of feathering. As I say, the paper looks like it's absorbing more of the ink and then spreading it out. With the Jinhao 100, as I've said, with that sheen in ink. The Pilot Custom 823, at the moment, doesn't look too bad. See little bits, you know, down here on the tots, it was starting to see feathering coming through on May. So again, some feathering coming through on this Japanese milled paper. Just dropping in to interrupt your regular programming. Would you like to help support the channel? If so, please consider joining as a member. As a member, you'll get early access to my videos. I normally upload them a couple of days before they go out. And as soon as they're uploaded, they'll be released to members. There'll also be a shout out at the end of the videos. And then as we get the members coming in, we'll actually chat among ourselves and work out what other perks, what other things you'd like me to add in. You know, would you like maybe a monthly live chat just for members all down to us so please if you can consider joining the channel a link will be in the description down below next up we go to Cosmo Air Light this is a paper I've wanted to try for an awful long time off-white so again it's a creamy type of color there we go let me just fetch this in there we go is that better yes that's better there we go so that's off-white color Again, we've got our pens. Not seeing any of that issue there with feathering. Let's look at writing. So we've got the pilot. This feels like there might be a little bit of texture in the paper. nice nice tactileness to it this is enjoyable to write on I'm not sure I'm sure I read somewhere that they've actually either stopped making it or it's getting harder to get very nice again plenty of shading 
fetch in that standard there is that 52 GSM paper get these side by side I do think on this paper the Aqua Lagoon standing out and the Alt Gold Run in fact all the inks seem to stand out more than what they do on the 52 GSM paper the paper themselves are actually very very similar in color look at that how they can tell the difference but I do like the way they look I've got loads and loads of shading coming through on that Alt Gold Run Lots of slightly wider line. I say all of these, they seem to stand out more as if the paper is more accepting of the ink. That could be, I say, it feels like there's a little tiny bit of texture to it. The sheen in ink, really nice, loads of sheen. You know, it's virtually all green. And then our Pilot Custom 823. I would say on here, got a lot more shading coming through than what I was seeing with the Pilot Custom 823 on the Tomoe River. The line does seem wider. Again, it's as if some of the ink has been drawn into the paper and that seems to be, in one respect, enhancing the way that it looks. So very, very nice. So that was the Cosmo Air Light. So next up, we've got the Cosmo Air Snow. So this is more of a white colored paper, as you can see there. Fetching that light, you can see creaminess to the air light where we've got that more whiteness. So that's where the snow comes from. Again, we've got all of our writing on here. Don't see much in the way of feathering on here. Let's get the pen and do some writing. So we've got our pilot. Again, very nice writer. Going to fetch in the Cosmo Air Light first. Oh, didn't do my swipe, did I? Let's do that now. Let's fix that. Very similar performance as I was seeing with the Cosmo Air Light. Here's the Air Light and the Snow. So loads of shading. Again, as if the paper is more welcoming to the ink. They both feel very similar. They're both 75 GSM papers. Maybe it's just me. The snow feels ever so slightly thicker. And uh, I'm going by what it feels like between my finger and my thumb. So it's very hard to be very uh, scientific about it. But it does feel as if the snow is a little bit thicker. Comparing it to that 52 GSM paper. Again, I do think the colours show up a lot nicer on the air snow. You know, even down to the title, the purple stands out more than the purple does on that 52 GSM paper. Very nice. I think at the moment of the papers I've looked at, both the Cosmo Air, they're like tie-in for the first place. They're both very much accepting and really performing quite well with these. Even down here where we're looking at sheening ink, we've got really nice property coming through. So that's the Cosmo Air Snow. And my last one. This is the White XL. This is the thickest paper, 81 GSM. So again, we've done exactly the same, except... I didn't get that. Could you try again? No, Siri, I can't. I'm not sure I understand. Don't you just love technology? So here, I made a little bit of a boo-boo. I put tie mine instead of Robert Oster. So I had to correct that. And I didn't put the pen. The pen... In fact, I didn't put the pen on any of them. The pen, I say, was that AL star with a 1.5 stub. Again, same five pens. The lines on here look a lot thinner than I was seeing on the last two. Let's do some writing. Let's see what it feels like when you write on it. So again, doesn't feel like there's any texture on this. This feels like it's fairly smooth. I'll remember to do my swipe this time.
This one is the one that sounds nearest to the 52 GSM paper. Nice audible feedback, loads of audible feedback. Can really hear it, very nice. Let's fetch in that 52 GSM paper. So here, when I'm just looking through these, they do look very similar. I think, you know, certainly here with the Diamine Red Dragon, it's a more darker red than what I'm seeing with the 52 GSM paper. The 52 GSM paper seems to be, I think, I want to use the word brighter. It certainly seems to stand out more. With the sheen in ink, you can't see any of the base color. It's just showing that sheen. And the fact that I messed up here, I was going to put Diamine Little Bob. It's a Colt Pens sold and labeled ink made for them by Diamine. With the 823, again, the ink on here doesn't seem, this, this one actually seems lighter than I'm seeing on that 52 GSM. But again, a lot more shading coming through there. So that's all seven papers. Let me move this notebook out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now fetch these out in reverse order of my favorite. So let me just get them all laid out so I can see them. I think the one I liked the least, and I'm saying like the least, I still liked it. This was, that was the Japanese milled paper. 64 GSM, but really feathering terrible. Next up, I'm gonna go for the white XL, the last one. I felt with this one, let me, let's see if I can get the titles. I felt with this white XL, it's all right, but there's not a lot of character. You know, there's just some nice shading, but it doesn't really fetch out a lot of the character of the actual paper. Let's try it. There we are. Now we can see Japanese milled. Oh, what shall we have next? I think next we'll go for the View Corona. Again, it's nice, works really well, but I don't see as much character to, coming out as I do with the others. We'll then go for mm, the 62. No, the 68 GSM Tomo River paper. Starting to get nice, nice writing, nice consistency, but I'm trying to rank these. We'll then have to go for that Tomo River 52 GSM. Again, it's nice. Let's see loads of character. You know, look at that C there on ancient copper. I'm going to move these over to one side. So my top two, I'm going to say position number two, I'm going to give to the Cosmo Air Snow. Like the whiteness of the paper, but the way the ink stands out, I think it's not quite as nice as with the Cosmo Air Light, where it's just got that slightly creamier color. And I think that does make the difference. And I just love the way that this shows up, especially, you know, I'm just gonna move this up here when we see you know, Pilot Custom 823. Loads of character compared to what I'm seeing on the Tomo River 52 GSM paper. So these, they're my quick thoughts on the Desk Bandit Paper Sampler Pack. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Have you tried paper sample sets? Did you find they were surprising or did you find they were a bit disappointing? Please drop a comment down below. What's your experience with different papers? Please hit the thumbs up button every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.